YouTube, how far can one little paper crane get you? The answer is much fucking farther than the paper frog. This relic, comparatively to the paper frog, its counterpart on the ironclad, is absolutely, unbelievably light years ahead of it in terms of how powerful it is. If you see this relic early on in your runs, it is absolutely, without a doubt, going to be a banger. And let me explain why. Because this relic allows you to take more aggressive and more fun cards that maybe you normally wouldn't take. Because you get this added weakening, you don't have to spec as hard into the blocking or into like finding as many uh, specific forms of damage that are more consistently good. And instead, can focus on maybe a more fun poison build that isn't going to be quite as good because you don't aren't required to go as fast in your runs. And that's honestly what we were doing. This stream took place before and actually after a massive sponsor segment that I did. It got broken up with the fact that I had to move over to that. I did some animal content for a couple hours on the front page of Twitch. It was an honest blast if you were there. Love you to death. Uh, so yeah, you'll see a big jump cut in the middle of it. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoy the content. If you do, give it a like, a comment, and uh, I would genuinely appreciate it if you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah. I could get double elite for one HP. Talk about going fast. You're going to flip a switch. I'm counting on you. I'm counting on you. I believe in you, chat. I think that my chat is very cool. All right, we got two 1 HP burning elite, or 1 HP elites, excuse me. Should be all right. Should be good enough, I think. Hello, Gremlin Nub. Quick slash me. Upgrade my quick slash me. Vapor Crane is insanely good. Do I need to take a deadly poison because I've taken no other things? Poison, luckily, is a very cheap form of scaling that this class can utilize, which is quite nice. Granulous, thank you for the 37 months. Yay. 12 months of subscription. Love you, dude. Wide thank keep you, a masturbation you. trends gang shit trans Tuesday big trends. Right, I understand, yeah. Right. Anything else? I feel like most of the nerves that I have for the, the upcoming two hours of stream is mainly on me. I I, I do genuinely think the chat is gonna is gonna be good. I, I I do think that. I think that I am just a nervous Nelly. And that's just who I am. Just a nervous guy. My guy who gets anxieties before major things that happen. I think that's quite normal to do. Oh wow! That is relatable! Nah, if chat behaves as good as they're looking right now, we'll be A-OK. -okay. Dude, deflect here, I think, goes pretty hard. Deflect with, uh... When you get expensive cards, cards like deflect become really good. When you get cards that... Are, are, are things that you want to put in play, like these well-laid plans, that feels like if I don't get it in play, then it feels bad to redraw it, right? If you don't play well-laid plans your first draw, when you first draw through your deck, it feels really bad, right? Like, it, it doesn't feel good to have to redraw it and then it also potentially be a dead card again. So things like that are really good. I also kind of like this footwork. Let's upgrade that into a footwork plus. And now I do believe we have quite the large amount of scaling for this fight with the amount of poison that we have. I think we'll be good. Because I didn't go live early for the Dan raid. True. I'm going to take the damage in order to get the scaling off. Ooh, 
Look at the scaling, man. Even just two unupgraded poison cards. And it's like honestly good enough. It's quite nice. Let's take both of the blocks with a big attack this turn. <laughs> Guess I didn't need that. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, you're not going to have any block next turn. And I think we draw our neutralize most of the time, which means you're pretty weak. Actually, all the time we drew the neutralize. Favorite boss in the game? The champ, because he's so good looking. Told you we scale just fine. Love a little bit of poison. A little bit more poison. I think that there's something to be said right now about a cursed key because of Omomori, but I also think that Black Star could also be incredible because of that. But I'm going to take the cursed key. Hey, creep. Why do you like jellyfish, dude? Because I want to play fast, and I think playing fast means taking more safe routes, right? Taking things that are just a wee bit safer. Let's see where this hits. Okay. So I'm going to weaken. Because I would like to kill you faster, so just dealing more damage. And then we should draw our corpse explosion. Oh, I should have played that for an enchantment. Good shit, good shit. Leg sweep with the increased energy as well as the paper crane. Pogged up. I'm not gonna... We do have a shop here, but I think I'm just gonna use that shop to remove. Yeah, if I had taken the Black Star, I would have used the Omomori there. But without the Omomori, or with the Omomori, I would like to open both of the chests in the next two acts, if possible. Yeah. I remember the coma this time, Mr. Streamer. Sir, she's coming. It's a, it's a cola. It's a cold rocket in the United Kingdom. Thought. Ooh. That's just a basic chest. That's just a basic chest. We can get better chests. Really tough to join the streams anyways, yay. Hey, much love, dude. Give me a, an upgrade on... Honestly, corpse explosions are really good upgrade. Sure. You like larger chests? I'm a bigger fan of larger chests, yeah. I am a, I'm a little bit more of a fan of larger chests. Chest types matters? Yeah, it allows you to uh, get more or less rare stuff. Yeah, the bigger the chest, the, the more rare the relic. On average, it's not oh, it's not an a hundred percent of the time type deal. Do love larger chests, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm a little bit of D here, but it's not a big deal. Yeah, How's it going? Thank you for the three months. Here's Frost Prime underscore. I have an idea for content. Okay. Sure. Make a drafted deck in A20, but start attack three. No boss relics, no adding cards, no nothing. Yeah, no, we had someone give something like that that was similar. And I thought it was a really good idea. Someone gave me a similar idea to that recently. It's pretty cool. It's not a bad idea. Go after this guy. Hopefully, we can get the corpse explosion on him before the poison takes him out. What the hell, man? <laughs> Stop. Need to deal a little bit of damage to them so the corpse explosion kills them. Feel really, we're taking like more damage than this deck should on average. Gamba me. You know, I said I wanted a better relic. I don't think that that's what I was talking about, but maybe it is. Maybe we'll see. We'll see if maybe that's what I was talking about. We could get some good stuff that will allow us to play into that. We'll see, though. Like, right now. Like, right now. Like, right now. See? 
So good! It's our Berserker. They give it 11 months. It also allows us to empty our hands sometimes and then still be able to get things off with well-laid plans, which I think is cool. I'll take this. We don't play a whole lot of cards, but I think the supplemental block over the course of an entire fight is quite good. Hey, Sir Berserker. Yeah, I'm playing fast right now. Playing fast, I'm playing loose. Put you on top so we can block next turn. Do you recommend that someone from Isaac hasn't played it before? I'm thinking about buying it. Would I recommend playing Isaac as someone who hasn't played it before? Would I be recommending it to him? <laughs> Who else am I recommending it to? <laughs> yeah. I think that me actually doing this into that pretty much blocks. And then we can do this to full block, keep both of these cards in hand. We don't need to worry about the corpse explosion there. Instead, it was all about the debuff numbers, you know? Because it's very easy once you get rid of all this guy's debuffs to load him up with poison. Would you recommend Isaac to someone who has 600 hours in it? Potentially less so. You're playing so smooth. Alert. Yeah, we just need a key, couple of key upgrades, and I think this run will be extremely solid, man. You need things like leg sweep upgraded, maybe a bouncing flask upgraded. Definitely think I like duplication potion, because I don't plan on dying. Sucker punch plus? Yeah, that, that's kind of like upgrading a card. So now I think that we could potentially instead upgrade... Bouncing flask now. Wreck! They give the 15 months. Yes. Can you do that for me? Can you do your absolute best behavior? Is that at all possible? Are you allowed to flirt during the AT&T segment? Are you trying to flirt with me or AT&T? <laughs> Who are you trying to flirt with, man? Okay, I need you to just hit, like, one single time on this guy. No, this is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. I was, I was, I was at, at, at first I was saying F, but then I realized that I had set up my Nunchaku perfectly. Because I'm really fucking good at the game. I don't think it matters, though. It's a Guan. Thirty minutes, chat. Thirty minutes. We gotta play. Thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. I gotta pee before we're done, too. Second Gamba. Not right now, maybe. Maybe later, though. Not right now. Maybe later. For now, upgrade this Gamba. I got poison on him. Keep both of these cards so that we have a bigger Gamba next turn. We can have potentially a larger Gamba. What are you taking? You're going to take my after image. They always take the rarest cards in your discard pile. Why did I not play that last attack? Um, that's a good question. Because uh, I wanted to test out to see if Tori was working or if it was bugged. Tori is working, as it turns out. Hippo G. Tori is, in fact, working. Corpse explosion. I'm just gonna keep aiming poison towards the main guy. I don't really care much else about what's going on. 
I'll be honest. Turning into an overexplained. Frost Prime explained one one thought that he was having. Is this an overexplained? <laughs> Holy shit, guys. Is this an overexplain? Oops. Taking one damage from the hyper beam turn. I mean, the Noxious Fumes would definitely go a long way in this fight. For sure, for sure. Time to do an under-explain run. You're understanding. Okay, next turn we get a free leg sweep. Look at our hand next turn. <laughs> oh, man. Holy shit, man. It's a very free hand. Hope you're having a good day. Having a decent day, my friends. How you doing, Danikin? Taking one again. Can I start mansplaining my runs? So the Silent didn't win earlier because she was just like in like a mood. You know what I'm saying? I think it was her time of the month. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> How many hours do I have in this game? Over that many? Up tragic jester. Fuck. <laughs> oh man. I just don't block for enough sometimes. I need like three backflips in the deck. It's a common card, and I just can't seem to find it. Either that, or I need to bottle my uh, my well-laid plans. Bottling well-laid plans? Yeah, bottling well-laid plans, or or, or or getting a couple of backflips. Yep, those are not the cards. gonna be a difficult fight probably. I might have to use my duplication potion. Not in the way that I thought I would use it. And I'll get the kill this turn if I don't play duplication potion actually on this. Those cards suck. Travel to the boss portal immediately. Dog on each streets? Don't think he does. Don't think so.
August Juice Gaining, I can promise you he is not. I promise you this, chat. Thank you, Dancing Mango. Look at that perfect block. Unceasing top kind of doing a little bit of work here. You do love, in fact, to see that. Unceasing top doing work. The weakening doing work. We might have to take a break from this run, by the way, Chad. I, I, I'm, the more that I look at it, we're probably going to have to end this run maybe after Act 3. Maybe even before then. Crippling Cloud seems fantastic. Not the draw that I need, but... He's all right. Eesh. Yep. Is there any challenge for the stream today? Somebody replied, be on our best behavior. <laughs> That's my Twitch chat. They can do it. All right, this fight is going to be a little scary, maybe. Do I want to save Crippling Cloud for next turn? I do a little bit. I definitely want to do this. Do that. Like, save it for next turn. I mean, just discard it. And then go for the corpse explosion. Much better. You having more HP is your downfall, motherfucker. It's your goddamn downfall, baby. It's your motherfucking downfall. This means you deal more damage to the enemy. <clears throat> Lazy Gunner, think of the 11 months, man. Easy peasy. Getting there. We're getting there. Oh, the beloved card. It exists. <laughs> oh, my God. Another deflect plus. Works well with the unceasing top. Let's try it. Hello, Nemesis. Love this. Ooh, good shit. Keep around you and you.
Good, good, and good. YouTube run was boggies. I'm glad you liked it, fam. Thank you. I'm glad you had a good time. Max, thank you for the nine months. I don't know what that... I, I don't know what you're trying to say with that. Would you look at that 22? months already keep up the good content frosty also, much love have you seen any of the new relics in the peglin update yeah yeah we played with some of them yesterday actually all right blaster bond thank you for the 22 months bottled tornado a second leg sweep plus that's what we wanted, baby. That's what we fucking wanted, baby. That's what we fucking wanted, baby! Can I take this? Ooh, can I take this? Can I take this? Can I take this? This is a risky one. F it. If we lose, that just means that it's time for the sponsored segment. If we win, it means it's time for us to stall until the sponsored segment, you know? Double exhaust. Double throw me. Is it going to be double timed? Perfectly even block as we would all want. Come on, man. Come on, man. They're scaling. We got we got to draw some cards. We got to draw some goddamn cards, man. Come on! Where are my cards? Looking a little doomed here, chats. And by doomed, I mean I'm going to get out on here on the... Just fucking barely. But just fucking barely is good enough for me. Heal the full HP. No, I don't think I will. Because this is a 25 heal. Mm. Panty abuser? No. Unseizing top. Unseizing top. What the hell? I didn't keep this line. Unseizing top. In fact, all that they route. Boom. Tongue me. Ash plus. 
I don't think I need it. I don't think I need it. I think it's a little bit too much. Hey, guys. I mean, the double rare relic back to back, man. Definitely think it's good. Definitely think that we're doing something that's kind of good. And then, you know what? Upgrade the crippling clown. All right, Chad. I think it might be time for us to set up for the sponsored segment. Hey, Midroll Frost Prime here, just to say that I appreciate you watching until this point in the video. I'm not I'm not here to tell you to come to the stream. I'm actually taking the weekend off. Uh, but now we can just have a staring contest. Loser has to eat the other's butt. I mean, okay. <laughs> All right, after that high, we got to ride that high, man. We got to beat this fucking guy, man. Wait, can I literally just well laid plan sucker punch this guy and turn? Because I'm not going to take any damage, am I? Because if I well laid plan sucker punch, I take no damage. What happened to the Diego Tar? He's right there. Yeah, I can just end. I can hit it with the with this as well, and then I can just end turn. I'm just going to take zero goddamn damage. Tory tongue, man. A little bit of Tory tongue. Hit it with one of these. Keep the weakening going. We just got to get some poison, man. We got to get our poison built up. Burst me. Wait, what is this? Wait, do I have to turn this on in the settings of the mod? Wait, hold on. I want to see if I can't make this. Fuck. And I'll, I'll do it after this fight. I'll do it after this fight. Remind me after this fight, chat. Remind me after this fight that I need to figure out how to turn this mod on. Because I think it'll allow you guys to talk in chat. I'm pretty sure. Uh, you're gonna be this fight. Thanks. Thanks for the reminder. Appreciate that. Keep it up. This turn could be uh yikes. We just gotta play this fight very slow. It's the best way to play it. Uh, this is going to put us at 24 block, or 25 block, which means we will take zero. So we can play three cards next turn. Silva, thank you for the follow. You're a good streamer. Very well put together stream. Nice setup, though. Love how you run it heading out now. Hey, thanks, man. Much love. I really do appreciate that. D-Bone, thank you for gifting a sub to that guy. They definitely do deserve it. They're pretty cool. Okay, things that we don't want to do here. We do not want to play our... Um, we don't want to play our leg sweep here. Because this guy is about to split. This is my favorite game. I'm glad you like it, Silva. I'm also a big fan of this game. You want to save this because they're going to go back to half HP. And then we can re-weaken them. Very cool, yes. It's fine we just play slow. Like, we just play it slow. With the power of the... The weakening effects. We just can't lose, man. We don't take damage from this, right? Yeah. Chop, are you guys a little bit shocked and hurt? Oh, I need to turn off the AT&T command. I think we deserve some cool chat triggers for behaving like good goobers people sit business council. I gave you all the emotes. 
Just became a new fan new on here as well. I used to live in Pueblo, not far. I have uh, some good friends down in Pueblo, actually. Um, they were telling me about a place that makes chili mac and cheese. Can you confirm or deny that there's some good chili mac and cheese? Down in Pueblo. You lived in Pueblo, Mexico? No, there's a lot of Pueblos that I lived. No idea I didn't live there that long? Okay, understandable. Understandable. Do you not want to eat chili mac and cheese with me, Chad? I mean, the idea of it sounds delicious, doesn't it? <laughs> the idea of it? All right, just play it slow. Play it slow. Honestly, a noxious fumes would make this fight go so much faster. We just had a single dang noxious fumes. Or a catalyst? Yeah, for sure. Is this it? Is this is this all she wrote? Feeling like it. Boom. They do have really good Mexican food down there. Yeah, Hannah and I have a meeting to make our way down there. Streamer the mod. Oop, too late now. I can't I can't end because then I would be a safe scummer. Act four. Act four, act four. I'm you know what? I'm using them all. I'm using all my dang things. Uh burst me. You know what? Do this. They both get put down there. So then we get to play them both for free with the unceasing top. Oh my God. Is that the tech? Is that the young tech? Holy. Was that cool? I thought that was really cool. Cool and sick. <gasps> I'm sorry they feel you're not feel I hear they're not feeling well. <laughs> put this guy on top, and then we can keep two cards. How you thought about it? I've just been playing this game for too damn long, man. Frost, you said we'd get ice cream if we behaved. Yeah, we're going to talk after class, all right? About whether or not you behaved. I love the zero damage, two act, three bosses. That's quite nice. He's going to kill us. I never... Don't... Don't assume that. I'm not, I'm not going to kill you. All right, let's just end it. Keep these two cards. We should be able to block for enough next turn. Just like Terry. Who's Terry? It's Jerry's brother. <laughs> Bronze doesn't even remember the name of the guy that he killed. I feel like with like the way that people block things out of their brain, like psychology lines, that could be that could actually be possible, right? Sorry, I got a little introspective there for a second. Ew, cringe. 
Oh, Labrizzi. Wait, wait, Labrizzi, are you still in the stream? I completely didn't see you in chat if you had said how many followers you got. Mm -mm -mm. I saw you just DM'd me on Twitter. Labrizzi just slid into my DMs, flirt. 44 new followers from the shoutout. Isn't that crazy? I love the shoutout feature on Twitch, man. I got so much shit when I said W Twitch. When Twitch like came out with that feature, it was like the mid a bunch of like a bunch of shit decisions that they were making. And I was like, yo, good shit, Twitch. And someone was like, excuse me, why would you ever say that they did something good? I was like, oh, I'm bad. <laughs> I'm bad. Only talk about the bad things, never talk about the good things, I guess. Twitch bad mixer forever. True. Yeah, it's like my my opinion is just like if you want them to actually change and be better, you gotta tell them when the thing that they did was good. You know, that, that's just my as the way that I think about it. Uh oh. All right, I have I have defeated them. I will now enable the mod or at least attempt to. I think I have to turn this off though. I need to go to Act 4 first. Also, I would like to say that this mod has 1984 mode. <laughs> Everyone can only become a goon once. Why isn't it working? It doesn't seem to be working. Um, I think for the upcoming fights, it could be quite good to have our after image upgraded. What is the mod? So you know in Slay the Streamer how someone can be the, the enemies and talk like through the, the chat bubbles? Someone made just that a mod. Which is really cool. Uh, could take Ninja Scroll. I do think I'll take a Flash of Steel. And I do think I'll actually probably take this. And then we could also hit a removal just one time for the one. Anything else I would rather remove? No. Cool. That's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I love I love cool mods like that. We actually have a major mod to play very soon. Um. Yeah, that we're gonna be playing really, 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 really soon. Um, I think I'm gonna do this. Do this. I'm going to keep this leg sweep in my hand so I can turn back around and target this guy and hopefully weaken them. I'm going to see. So turn me back around and then hit this guy twice with a bouncing flash. No, hit this guy twice. I've been YouTube enjoyer here. I know it's pretty cringe. Yep. But I appreciate all the time and effort you put into your content. I don't think, I don't think you're that we cringe, man. We all love our stream less than three. Uh-huh. I don't think you're cringe, man. Thanks for watching the YouTube content. Appreciate you, dirty man. Thanks, dude. So much weakening. Can we say arson again? You can say arson again, yes. But no, there's a, a big mod that came out actually recently through the uh, entirety of the Slay the Spire community. So every year, the Slay the Spire community does a big mod jam. Uh, and they came out with theirs recently that is literally a character that builds their deck from opening packs of cards. So fucking incredible. I'm so excited to play it. It actually came out today and I really want to play it. I really, really want to play it, but today is not the day. We're probably going to play it on Friday. We're going to play it on Friday. So come out to that. What's it called? If you just go to the most recent mods, I'm sure you'll see it. It was supposed to come out today. If it didn't, oops. A 
dead branch? Oh, man. I don't know if I want that. Actually. Like, actually, I don't know if I want that. We don't have many cards that exhaust. The more that I look at it, we don't have a whole lot of cards that exhaust. It could be good. It could be good, or it could be the loser of the run. It could be what loses us the run, or it could be what makes us the run, baby. We have a tungsten rod, so literally all we have to do is play one of this, and we'll never take beat of damage. Or beat of heart damage. Crippling cloud into crippling cloud. Into doppelganger. Into a piercing whale. Into a backstab. Okay, this is awesome. This is the greatest. This is the greatest dead branch you've ever seen in your entire life. And I'm not going to clickbait that in the YouTube title because it's cringe to do that and have it only be at the heart fighting later. That is cringe. I won't do that. Burst me. He's going to do it, though. I'm not going to do it. All right, we don't have to keep any block cards for next turn because we have uh, Tori Tungsten around. So we will literally take no damage no matter what happens this turn. It is impossible for us to take damage this turn unless we drew the burn. <laughs> Actually, no, it is. No, yeah. It would, it's only the burn. No, yeah. Only the burn could deal damage to us right now. Thank you. What's up? Having a great time. Love you. I'm gonna fucking cry your pants, man. Shut the fuck up. Jesus. 20 cheeks. Tungsten round is so good. I mean, Tori's doing the. It's gonna do the bulk of the work here, isn't it? As I mean, look at next turn coming up. Watch this next turn. He didn't put a question mark. Look at this. Zero D. After this, we do have to worry about beat of heart after this turn. Hey Tiffany, the two oh. slots next to your gold seem to be filled. You might want to consider that. The the, the two slots? Is this a D's joke? I'm pretty sure next turn with you being weakened, you are once again going to not be dealing any damage to me. Yeah. Cool. <clears throat> Multi attack mod check. The easiest heart fight of my goddamn life. Why do we have to worry about beat of heart? Because uh, it's three now. So with tungsten rod, it uh, would actually still deal damage to us. Because we have after image would give us one block. Tungsten rod would reduce it to, to, to that two damage to one damage. Potions! Wouldn't Tori drop it one? Tori is only attack damage. <coughs> so... If it's me taking damage to myself. No. Easy peasy win, man. Most easiest win of my life. 